Have you ever acted like a son of thunder? You remember that James and John were nicknamed the sons of thunder. Why was that? Well, let's read in Luke chapter 9. Now it came to pass when the time had come for him to be received up, that he steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem, and sent messengers before his face. And as they went, they entered a village of the Samaritans to prepare for him. But they did not receive him, because his face was set for the journey to Jerusalem. And when his disciples, James and John, saw this, they said, Lord, do you want us to command fire to come down from heaven and consume them, just as Elijah did? But he turned and rebuked them and said, You do not know what manner of spirit you are of. For the Son of Man did not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. And they went to another village. Luke chapter 9, verses 51 through 57. When James and John heard about their refusal, they fumed, Lord, do you want us to command fire to come down from heaven and consume them? They had just been on the Mount of Transfiguration and had seen their Lord with Moses and Elijah. The account of Elijah and the fire from heaven must have come to their minds. 1 Kings chapter 18. But when they asked if they could call down fiery judgment on the Samaritans, Jesus rebuked them. When I think about James and John's reaction to the Samaritans' refusal to accommodate them and immediately reacting with anger, it makes me think of the times I have failed in my own attitude toward this world. Have you ever reacted to this world as a son of thunder? When you see injustice, corruption, exploitation, deceit, and slander, do you ever wish the Lord would just rid the world of these people that are doing these things? Politics has a way of doing this to me. We wish the Lord would just take care of these people already and become impatient for his justice to come about. Some scriptures that come to my mind when I think about how we should be acting is Romans 12 verse 14, Bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse. And Romans 12, 17 through 21 says, Never pay back evil for evil to anyone. Respect what is right in the sight of all men. If possible, so far as it depends on you, be at peace with all men. Never take your own revenge, beloved, but leave room for the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. But if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink. For in so doing, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. I love what Stephen Cole says about this. As Jesus set his face to go to Jerusalem, he sent messengers ahead into Samaria to make arrangements. But the Samaritans did not receive him because they heard he was going to Jerusalem and they despised the Jews. There had been a centuries-long hatred between the Jews and the Samaritans who were viewed as religious half-breeds. So the slightest provocation set off James and John who wanted to call down fire to consume these pagans. But Jesus rebuked them and they went on to another village. This incident shows our propensity to misuse scripture to justify our own sinful anger. James and John thought they were acting in the spirit of Elijah, who called down fire to consume the wicked King Isaiah's messengers who came to arrest him. They would cite chapter and verse to show that their anger was justified. But they were wrong. Jesus came to seek and to save the lost, not to destroy them. While rejection is always difficult to handle, if our Lord was rejected, we can expect the same treatment in this wicked world. He deliberately steeled himself for the coming rejection in Jerusalem. As his followers, we must steal ourselves for rejection and not take it personally, even if it is meant that way. We should let the Lord be the judge. In this case, Jesus judged the village by leaving them in their state of rejection. 
they would have to answer to God at the judgment for not welcoming Christ into the village. While there is a proper time to shake the dust off our feet and protest against those who reject the gospel, we should be careful not to jump the gun. God is patient, not willing for any to perish, and we must reflect his love and patience towards those who are opposed, praying that God would grant them repentance. Living as we do in a culture that is seething with anger and that elevates pride to a virtue, we can have some great opportunities for witness if we learn the lessons of humility and love for others. If you are mistreated, but you respond with humility and love, you will stand out as a light in the darkness. Be ready to let others know that it is only Christ in you that makes the difference. If you struggle with pride and anger, and have failed often, these verses offer hope. James and John were known as the sons of thunder. Matthew Henry observes that, that here, they even want to add lightning to the repertoire. But James went on to give his life as a martyr, and John grew to be known as the apostle of love. If the grace of our Lord Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit could change these hotheads, there is hope for us all. Change begins when we acknowledge our sin and come to the cross in repentance. We should walk in the same way. If you have wronged someone through pride or anger, humble yourself. Go and ask their forgiveness. As you learn to practice humility and love, even toward those who have wronged you, you will become an effective servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. So in conclusion, brothers and sisters, it's really easy to be a type of son of thunder in our world today. We are like Lot, vexed by the evil around us. We wish the Lord would bring about the tribulation period to get this over with and on to our future and glory so we don't have to deal with these types of people anymore. But in order to be more Christ-like, we must be patient and slow to anger. Easier said than done, but Christ rebukes the attitude of the smite them on the spot. Let's continue to strive toward the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Amen.